Hello everybody, Nathan here, and this is the start of my new dev blog, dev web blog, I don't know, video series, and uh, it's pretty much going to be uh, just the creation of a brand new sub game from scratch, so this might crash, no it didn't, sweet, I didn't think that was going to work, where is this defined, because I haven't defined this, is this something that's hard coded? Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, okay, whatever. So what I am doing here is creating a entirely brand new sub game from scratch, more or less. I say more or less because uh, I'm going to be copying and reusing. Oh boy code from various places um, so I'll be reusing some mods uh, but with a lot of changes and stuff right now as you can see um, yeah there's very much unfinished like the player model I haven't copied that over I'm gonna use a 3d model from well, probably I'll start with that at least I may change it later on but for starters that's what I'll be using from my test game and I am creating all of my own textures and everything I'm confused to why I can't dig that oh I think I goofed someplace I can dig dirt with grass but I can't dig just dirt. Hmm, that's that's an issue. I'll have to fix that. So yeah, this is kind of gonna be a replacement, more or less, for my uh, older survive sub game, which I am discontinuing, pretty much, um, just because it kind of got to the point where. I was doing the same thing in multiple places. I was like, this is really dumb. It would make more sense to have all plant related things in one file, like plants. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of starting up. So, if you look up at the center top there, this is ground dirt, and this is ground dirt with grass, and then the stone, which I'll probably die if I jump down there. And because I can't dig the normal dirt, I can't uh, dig down. Uh, this is using V7 map gen. I'm not planning on writing my own map gen at all. Uh, that's kind of way beyond what I know how to do. But I did put some biomes in. And then we have ground stone. Which um, will give you cobblestone when you dig it. Just as stone does in my test game. But yeah, I have one biome so far, which is just a grassland, which adds in this dirt and grass here. Uh, this is, I believe, 32 pixel textures. I'm doing. I'm creating all the textures from scratch. Um, I'm thinking right now, 32 pixel textures is probably what I'm going to use. Uh, I just 16 pixels doesn't give me enough space to work. I like to put detail in, and you can't do that very well on a lot of things with 16 pixels. Um, there is a backstory to the sub game. Uh, some of it has to remain secret because otherwise it kind of spoils the game. But the basic idea is I'm going to be using this for my server when I eventually start a server, which will be once the sub game's finished. And once I'm making enough money off of YouTube to host the server using YouTube revenue alone. Um, but the backstory kind of is that you. We're in a spaceship that's been flying for, well, who knows how long because parts of it have broken down either due to age or sabotage or who knows what. But you wake out of um, like a deep cyber sleep kind of thing and your spaceship's pretty much broken, but it's orbiting around a planet. So it's in no imminent danger. Life support systems are working. So you can still live. There's escape pods on the spaceship where you spawn. Um... So you'll pretty much, you'll start in the spaceship, and they'll be, for the server at least, for the single player, if you use it, it won't work the same, but for the 
server, there'll be some stores in it, and you'll start with a certain amount of cash, say, a hundred or something, a hundred units, and you'll use that to buy things from these stores on the spaceship, and then you'll go into an escape pod, which will pretty much just randomly teleport you to some location on this planet. And it'll be up to you pretty much from there to survive and to try to um, learn of the mysterious past of the planet that you happen to land on. And there there will be some mystery involved in, there will be some kind of like puzzles and stuff, uh, relics and items that you can find and it'll kind of tell you more of the backstory. So I... Obviously, I can't tell you too much of it, because it kind of spoils the experience. But uh, mods I am including, or planning on including to some degree, will be, uh, I think so far, made the Orienteering mod, which will give you access to the, um, the mini-map, which right now you can use, but it will become a privilege thing. We'll have to have a unit, um, a pair of binoculars, waypoints some stuff like that technic will be included modified pretty much just adding in a lot of extra machines and i must have done something wrong with this command i did there we go um so yeah some of the machines will be kind of switched around i'll be adding a lot of extra machines you'll pretty much land on the planet in like a stone age kind of thing and you'll be starting there and building up so you'll have all the same machines so if you're familiar with my survive sub game, there was a weaving loom and a spinning wheel. Those will exist. Uh, pretty much every mod I made for that sub game is going to be ported over to this. Different names, different textures on some stuff. But everything will be coming over in one form or another. But yeah, you'll start and everything will be manual. And then as you build an upgrade, uh, the Technic power system is basically going to be used for all the machines. So if you want to make an auto loom, it'll use the power from Technic, and it'll just make fabric automatically. Same with the spinning wheel, automatically make thread. Um, otherwise, everything's going to be click-based. So you want to make fabric, you have to click. It takes a couple seconds, you get one piece, and then you have to click again. So there won't be the automatic looping like I have going on currently in that subgame. So that should make it a little more interesting. Um, planning on including Mesocons, pretty much whole all by itself. Uh, there will be some tweaks to recipes in that, as with Technic. Um, mostly just to adjust for the different names of the nodes. But I'll be tweaking around some other things too. Um, one thing I do plan on doing is the wires for Mesocons, because they are a little hard to get if you have to find Mies Crystals and Mies Crystal Fragments. Um, I'm planning on actually adding to dirt a, um, like a Mies Powder or something that, I don't know, like 1 in 20 will drop and you'll combine 9 of those to make a pile and then you can cook that and you'll get one wire. So it'll make it a little easier to get wires because people are always digging dirt all the time. So at least then you'll have plenty of Mescon wires and that'll be the only thing you can use that for you won't be able to use that powder and turn it into crystal fragments or crystals. So it'll basically just be good for making wires. But I think that will probably be a very welcome addition when people want to build stuff with wires. Uh, Pipeworks will be included to a certain extent. Um, I'm probably going to take out all of the water transport stuff and just stick with the pneumatic tubes for transporting items and sorting things because I really like using those with the Technic machines. Um, and then, of course, we'll be using 10 plus 1's Mob Redo. And uh, I think I'll be using 10 plus 1's Farming Redo API as well. Gonna have a lot of different crops. Um, and I've got some different ideas for those too. So, uh, you'll, on the spaceship, one of the things you'll be able to buy, on the server at least, will be seeds. And you'll be able to obviously plant those to grow plants. Uh, and those will be a higher quality plant than what you'll find just on the planet. They'll be like wild carrots, which won't restore as much health, and they won't have as good of a yield as like the cultivated carrots. But one of the things the wild carrots will have is a very, very random, like we're talking maybe one in a hundred or so, drop of 
carrot seeds instead of wild carrot seeds. So you will be able to go for some plants from the wild version to the more cultivated, higher quality version, but that will only be on some things. Some plants will be impossible to get from the planet. The only way to get them will be buying them on the spaceship. Uh, and another thing for the server, the escape pod, I have yet to figure out how the code's gonna work, but the escape pod's gonna hold up to six people. So you and five friends will be able to join the server at the same time, buy your stuff, go into the escape pod, escape to the planet, and all six of you will spawn together on that planet. And then you can kind of start from there. It'll be all random where you go. I'm hoping I can change chat so it won't be global. It'll only go to people within, I don't know, 50 or 100 no distance of you. And hopefully I'll be able to uh, have no name tags, which I, I know can be done. I'll just find out how to do it so you won't see where any other players are on the server. And I'm hoping that somehow I can override this. Because right now, whoops, I have to turn chat on. When you type status, it'll tell you the number of connected clients, which in this case is one. But I want to get rid of that because I want that when you're playing on here, you don't know what other people are on this world because it's obviously there's no way you would know unless you could see them. Because otherwise you can do MSG and message people that are nowhere near you. So or I could just completely eliminate that. Maybe I could override it or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. Those are kind of built-in things, not part of the subgame, so I'll have to figure out what I can work with on those. Um, I will be including My Months, which is a wonderful mod that Don Batman made. Uh, there will be tweaks to that, of course, as with everything else I'm including. Um, the Months will play a huge part on the server. So plants, you'll have to plant them in the spring, and you will pretty much harvest them in the fall. So you're going to have to plan accordingly because after you plant stuff, you're going to be sitting around for a while waiting for it to grow. And yes, the wild animals will try to eat your crops. So you'll have to put up fences and protections to keep them out. It's going to be very survival based. Um, I'm hoping it'll be a lot of fun and I'm hoping it'll actually come to fruition one day. Uh, if you're interested in helping out, I will put the link to the um the github repository i'm not sure of the name yet right now i think i'm just calling it survival but that's actually super easy to change because it doesn't affect anything with the mods themselves so that can be changed very easily um but yeah as it as it goes there'll kind of be more and more to see there and obviously you'll be able to play it and find what bugs you can and report them and help make it even better so that's pretty much episode one of Dev Blog. Um, I don't know exactly how this series is going to go. I imagine there'll be some videos where it's me kind of showing off new features. I might do coding in some of them. And some might even just be me talking about like ideas and things I want to do and kind of bouncing ideas off of people. So, you know, after I do a video and you make, hey, you know, I really think that was a great idea where you said this, but that other idea you had, that doesn't really sound good i think that'd be too confusing or too hard or you know too much work to code or whatever and you know i'll kind of weigh in all that feedback i get of course this is going to be a um what's the word i'm looking for here um a monarchy i mean this is my sub game so i'm going to do it, what i want but i will take in other people's you know feedback and stuff and weigh that in accordingly but it's not a democracy it's not Something where people are going to say, well, I don't like this, so you can't do that. Because this is my sub-game, and I can do what I want with my sub-game. Including bump maps. Which, no, I don't think I'm going to do. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps up DevBlog01. A lot of work to be done. Tons and tons of work. <sighs> and not a lot of time. Especially with buying a house. But we'll save that for another time, won't we? And the answer to that is a resounding yes, we will, because we're not talking about it now. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next episode.